Good evening. Good evening, world. Uh, this is Ad McHenry uh, speaking live on Sunday, February 15, 2015. Um, just want to make a very uh, kind of quick uh, video. Very saddened and discouraged by the news that came out today that I saw online uh, on the internet as well as in the, uh, the media actually reported it that uh, the 21, um, sadly enough, the 21 uh, uh, Egyptian Coptic Christians uh, were martyred uh, on the shores of Libya um, and uh, were assassinated and beheaded by these terrorists, uh, these ISIS uh, Islamic uh, radical terrorists who are chanting Allah and uh, Muhammad and all these false uh, uh, all these false beliefs and, 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 and following their father, the liar, uh, the father of lies, Satan. Um, the, the blood of the, the seed of uh, the seed of martyrs uh, is the, the, the seed of the martyrs the, the blood of Christian martyrs is the seed of the faith of Christianity and it is the seed of the church and these men these 21 men I pray for their poses their soul as they hope, I pray are right now enjoying the company of, of Jesus in paradise in heaven um, I wanted to read uh, you know Isis is going to continue to behead uh, people they're going to be continue to try to uh, to destroy our, our, our the human race uh, that believes in Jesus Christ and Christianity. But in the end, I want to show ISIS who's going to destroy them. It's going to be her right there. That's the woman. The woman in Genesis 3.15, Our Lady, the Blessed Mother, and her son Jesus, who right there, you see that? That's called the cross. That's called Christianity. We love. We carry our crosses. We bear our crosses we suffer for one another. We share the love of God and the love of neighbor. We don't behead each other. We don't kill each other. We don't set innocent people on fire and burn them to death. We love. We pray for our enemies. We pray for our neighbors. And I wanted to read this scripture verses for the 21 that were beheaded in Libya, the 21 Coptic Christians, and all those, uh, the others that are being beheaded and, and dying martyrs' death. This is what the, the gospel, this is what the Bible says. The Apocalypse, the Revelations of St. John, the last book in the Bible says this. The 20th chapter of the 4th verse says this. And I saw seated, and I saw seats, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And the, and the souls of them that were beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not adored the beast nor his image, nor received his character on their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So those that you're beheading ISIS and all you Islamic radical, jihad, barbaric, barbaric uh, savages, you're beheading uh, men and women that are going to be with the Lord Jesus Christ and his mother Mary in heaven. You are only creating a war that you're going to lose, number one, because our Blessed Mother is going to crush the head of the dragon, the serpent, Satan. And Jesus is victorious, and Our Lady and Our Lord are victorious in this final battle. And uh, Christianity will, will, there will be an era of peace. And all those that believe and follow the false uh, prophet Muhammad and the false god Allah will be destroyed, and they will be the ones that will suffer eternally in the abyss of hell. They will be tossed into the lake of fire, into Gehenna, and suffer eternally. And, and sadly enough, uh, we don't want anybody to go to hell, but sadly those cockroaches, those savages, those barbarians that are killing people and executing people on behalf of their false god Allah and their false prophet Muhammad will be the ones that will be destroyed and sent to the abyss of hell. And they'll be in fire, they'll be in suffering and agony and pain for eternity. Uh, for what they're doing to this world, what they're doing to God's children, for every child, every man, woman, and child in this world is created in the image and likeness of God. And we're supposed to love God. We're supposed to love our neighbors, love our enemies, love all people. And the barbarianism and the barbaric acts that these men and women, these men, these ISIS, uh, Islamic uh, radicals are, are committing on behalf of their Muslim beliefs are, uh, are out of control. And uh, these barbarians, these uh, savages will be destroyed. And our Blessed Mother right there, Our Lady of Fatima, and our Blessed Mother and her son, Jesus the Christ, right there on the cross, will be the ones that will be victorious. So I want you to know, ISIS and all you Islamic followers and radical Islamic uh, believers in the world, you will be destroyed. I say that gently and kindly. You will be the ones that will be executed 
and face the wrath of God and burn in, a, in an eternal fire that will destroy uh, and burn your soul uh, for eternity. And you will be in pain and agony beyond anything you can ever understand. Now, for President Obama, um, I, I feel, as I just uh, quoted a minute ago on Twitter, um, you're clueless. You're not taking any action. You and your incompetent administration are doing nothing to protect America. You're allowing this to happen. I know, you're, I know your beliefs are of Muslim beliefs. I know that's your uh, religion of belief. And you won't step in and help a Benjamin Netanyahu or, or a King Abdullah of Jordan. You're not doing anything to help our friends and allies in the Middle East and, and throughout the world. And so you will hasten the hand and the wrath of God to this world. You're hastening the great warning that's coming, most likely this year and coming very soon, I would think. And uh, the great warning, the great miracle, the great chastisement, all that is going to happen soon. Um, sadly enough, we have guy, we have Obama who is misleading America, has no love for our country, no love for our, our allies, our friends in, in Israel and in, 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 in the, the surrounding Middle East and throughout the world. And uh, sadly, we have uh, an incompetent uh, leader and an incompetent administration who, are, who don't love America and our allies. And sadly, we are... At this stage where we are right now and the war is raging, the Battle of Armageddon, the War of Armageddon, the War of Souls is, is at an all-time high. And, and these are the times of the revelations, the book of Apocalypse is being fulfilled. St. John's, uh, that, that our Lord appeared to St. John and as he wrote on the island of Patmos, uh, it's all being fulfilled in our generation. It's happening way too quick. The pages are turning way too rapidly. I pray for America. I pray for our friends Israel. I pray for all those in the Middle East. I pray for... Uh, for all those being persecuted, whether it's in Jordan or whether it's in uh, it's in Libya or whether it's in uh, Egypt, uh, the Coptics, I pray for the Coptic Christians. I pray for our brothers and sisters that are being persecuted and killed and being martyred for their faith. Please know that you will have a place in the kingdom of heaven uh, if you shed your blood for Jesus Christ and don't renounce Christ and love him and love his mother Mary. Love the saints. Pray to the saints. May God have mercy upon America. May God have mercy upon Israel. May God have mercy upon the world. And may the radical Islam, jihadist, and ISIS, and all these terrible networks, these terrorist networks, um, Boko Haram, and, and Hezbollah, and Hamas, and Al-Qaeda, be destroyed and, f and permanently destroyed. And, and may, uh, may Christianity and, and Christ and our Blessed Mother Mary crush the head of the serpent, Satan, Lucifer, and his henchmen soon. I want there to be peace in this world. I know the era of peace, there will be a time of peace. But the great warning, the great chastisement, uh, the great or the great miracle, the great warning, the great miracle, and great chastisement are all going to be coming. The chastisement is conditional on, on how we respond. Let us respond in the right way. Let us get on our knees and use our great weapon, which is the Holy Rosary. And our great weapons are prayer and fasting combined together as we approach the Lenten season this Wednesday with Ash Wednesday in the church. And in the Lenten season, may we draw closer to the Lord Jesus and to our Blessed Mother Mary and to the saints to the Father, may we pray for our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted and killed and slaughtered all throughout the world. May we pray for them and may God raise them and allow them to be in heaven one day. May we pray for our brothers and sisters who are in purgatory that they might get to heaven. I love you who hears this. I want there to be conversion of the whole world to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I want people to love Jesus Christ, the King and Savior of mankind. And I want them to love his mother Mary who will crush the head of the serpent Satan. May the mercy of God be upon each one of you that hears this. May the mercy of God be upon America and all nations of the world. May we stand up and stop being passive as a nation here in America. May we lead. May we elect God-fearing, God-loving leaders to elect, to, to direct and, and lead America and lead this world. May Russia be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary as soon as possible. I pray for God's mercy upon mankind. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, may Jesus love us and protect us all. And may Jesus and Mary be victorious. Come, dear Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all their evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin and the destruction of souls. May God have mercy upon you. May God have mercy upon me. May we all go one day, live a life worthy of salvation and get into the kingdom of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.